So what is going on everyone, Metabars with you here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to run multiple OBS instances in Windows 10. And let's get right into it. So firstly, we're going to have to launch our browser. I'm using Google Chrome. And uh, I presume everyone already has the, uh, the OBS installed. Uh, just type in OBS. Okay, we already have the original OBS that you're going to have to download normally as you go to this tab here. Okay, when you go to the tab, it's going to obviously going to prompt you to download the 64-bit if you're running the 64-bit on Windows 10. We're going to close that. So we don't need this right now at the moment because uh, right now I'm using the original OBS Studio to record this at the moment, but I'm going to be showing you that we can be we can be able to record even more than one instance uh, with, uh, with OBS. Okay, uh, first and foremost, we have to know that this is only going to work on Windows. For Linux, I'm still looking for a way. I can only run two instances at a time, but for Windows, uh, let's get to it. So you're going to have to go to the download tab here. Okay, the download section. When you scroll down, if you're installing the normal OBS, you're going to have to go for the download install installer. Bar. But if you want to be able to run the multiple instances, you're going to have to uh, move down to the download zip because we're in Windows, oh, obviously. So simply right click, or oh, just, just click download and it's going to have to launch the download. So I already have this, I've downloaded it already. If, if you want, you can just right click and maybe download. But I I, I already have this, uh, you can see you know, it's, it's telling me that I, I wanted to. So go ahead, download this file. Download this file, I already have this file, so I'm not going to download it again but I can show you where I've downloaded this file into the conversion folder. So I already have the file, it's here. It has to be a zipped file. So uh, if you want to be able to run a multiple, like uh, I've already opened this and you can uh, open uh, this too. You can also open the, uh, the second OBS and it's not prompting you. For example, let me uh, let me let me let me show this error that we usually get as we uh, okay. If, if you run the bean and double click, uh, if you run this OBS, it's going to prompt you that OBS is already running. And okay, you see. Obvious already running unless you meant to do, do, do launch anyway. So it's 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 giving us an error where you cannot run two of them. It's already recognizing, but we're solving this problem exactly. So this is what we're going to do. Look for a location that you would want to store your uh, your files. In my case, I've already created an uh, on uh, 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 I've already created a folder in my 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 D in my D drive. I've called them OBS instances. So we can see that I can even run uh, stream two without the error that I've showed you previously. And we can also run stream three, OBS three at the same time. And we are having no issues at all. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to be creating. Uh, I I can I can also run this. I can record or I can stream. Let me press the stream button. Connecting, it's connecting to my other uh, YouTube. Okay, you can see I can also start streaming whatever I'm recording here. But I don't want to interfere with my recording. Even here, I can also try to run the browser and um, uh, let me use the. Uh, Yes, uh, okay, okay, yes, yes. Let me use the browser and use exactly the OBS website. Control, Control V, okay. Okay, let me uh, let me resize this. I want to just prove that we can, we can also, I uh, haven't put in any, any streaming key here, but we can still also record this. So I'm already having 
the false recording that I'm doing right now. I have a stream that I'm running right now and I'm also having a recording, a recording of a uh, of a browser, so you, you can do multiple window, infinite of them if you have a strong PC, of course. So we also have these. We can uh, also go ahead and uh, and just proving that you can run even multi more more of that. And I I can maybe go to display capture. Uh, let me let me let me try the uh, media source. Okay, I'm gonna burn the file. Let me go into let me go into videos. Okay, into what I've recorded before. I don't have any downloads videos. Uh, I have some videos there. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me uh, let me use a video that is not copyrighted. There we go. Okay. You can see that we are also running this, so I, I I can also record this. So I have almost four OBS instances running, recording, stream, streaming, recording, and also recording. So we can stop this just 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 for uh, for my uh, for, for for my my recording uh, purposes. Okay, let me just uh, minimize this as they are running in the background, we're gonna to have to create another instance. And in this case, what you're going to do is uh, simply, let me enlarge these, uh, just simply right click into the folder where you've downloaded that OBS, the zipped OBS, right click, uh, use the extract to that, uh, ex extract your OBS studio, not extract here, but extract to OBS studio to that file exactly. So it creates a file. If you use this option here, it's only going to uh, extract the files inside, but here it also creates a folder. So we're going to transfer this file to the location where you want it to be. I think it's a bit slow because I, I'm, I'm running more than one now. Oh, yes, okay. So let's name this uh, stream four because I, I usually do streams. So that's why I'm not naming OBS or anything. So you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So mine is going to be named streamed four. And the first thing you're going to do, okay, we can minimize this and uh, bring you here. Okay, go into the OBS, go into the bin folder, 64 bit folder, scroll down to the um, the OBS 64 and uh, right click. Uh, yeah, you can right click and uh, go to send. Create a shortcut on the desktop. Okay, uh, so what you're going to do is simply, you can rename it, you can, either leave it or you can rename it. It is up to you, but if you're going to be running multiple of these while you're streaming or recording, you have to identify which is which. So the first one is my initial, is the original that is not zipped. It's a, it's, it's the original OBS that comes in as you download as an installer, and these are the zipped ones that can run independently. So I'm going to rename mine uh, stream for going to name, rename mine stream full and I'm going to right click. Uh, this is the most important thing that you have to differentiate this OBS from the original OBS to not bring you that. Uh, so if you go to the target here, just into the shortcut, go to the target here that is giving you the address of the OBS that you've put in the desktop. Simply press one space bar, space bar and uh, no, I'm you put in double hyphens, hyphen marks. I repeat that double hyphen marks and type in the word portable. Portable, come down here, click apply and press OK. So we can see that if I run, let me place it here. If I we're already running the third OBS studio running in the background. And if I run the fourth one, it's going to launch as a new OBS. Wait for it. 
Okay, there you go. Optimize streaming and recording. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to cancel this. I already know what to do. I'm going to close and this looks new. Okay, you can see that uh, it's different from uh, the, uh, the looks so big, but bigger is better. Okay, we can see that um, this is our obvious, uh, this is the, the stream number three, and we have the stream number two, and we have uh, the stream number one, and we have the initio that is recording our video. So uh, a little bit of proving this, I'm going to have to create another one to show you that uh, if you don't, if, 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 you, if you don't put in the portable code, it's not going to, it's going to again bring you the same error. Okay, still uh, right click, uh, we are still extracting. So you can do this multiple times, you can have over, over 100 OBS studios if you have a strong PC, of course and you can run them all at the same time, recording, streaming, and you have different stream keys on YouTube and Facebook, and you can do them uh, simultaneously. So as I've showed you, so I'm creating the fifth one. Okay, just go back. All right, go back, okay. I'm transferring this. Okay, so still I'm renaming my stream five. Stream five. Okay, pressing enter. Okay, and uh, bean 64. And uh, yes, you know, I've already told you how, how, how to go about the other uh, folders. Okay, on to our OBS, right click, we're sending it to, you can just send it to the desktop. It is sent to the desktop and it is here. So the fact that I've not put in the code, the double space, I mean the single space and double hyphen and, and, and portable, if I launch it from here, if I launch it from here, it's going to give me that error. So I'm gonna cancel. So renaming it does not matter, but what matters is just right clicking, go to properties and uh, simply, uh, once pass, double hyphen and poll table. So you're gonna click apply and press okay. So notice that if I relaunch it, if I double click on it to, to relaunch it, it's going to open as a new. It's not bringing me the error that we usually get if you try to open the OBS studio if you're opening a new one. So close this and uh, close this. So I have a new one. I have another three running in the background. So I'm gonna have to close all this to, uh... okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to rename it. So renaming does not matter as long as you know what exactly you're doing. But in my case, I it's, it's just my habit to rename them. So I'm going to rename to stream five. And so I'm having over five streams. So according to the power of your PC, if you have issues with NVIDIA, uh, uh, if you have issues with NVIDIA not allowing you from uh, streaming more than three OBSs, I'm gonna have to do the video for you some time when I get an NVIDIA card. Right now I'm still using the Intel graphics card as you can see here. Performance, yes, I think it's a, yeah, it's the Intel graphics GPU that I'm using at the moment. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.